heals the sick And he heals the lame Says you can do it too In Jesus' name Excellent. That you can poke a crutch at. Pretty much. <laughs> just, just very quickly, tell, tell, tell all the miracles of this happened. I've prayed for you. Uh, I first met John in 2000. Uh, he was holding four nights at CRC in Wombai. And uh, I had uh, fallen off a truck and pulled all the nerves off my spine and my shoulder. And my arm wouldn't go past there. John paid for me for three nights. And then on the fourth night, the last night of his um, seminar, I went again uh, and I'd spoken to an elder at the church during the day and he said, well, I've seen you out there for prayer, what's happened? And I said, well, tonight I'm going expecting a miracle, so last night he's around, you know? And I was pretty desperate, I hadn't worked for two and a half years, I was about to lose my house. I had a lot of things going on that were really on top of me. And John prayed for me and all of a sudden my arm went, instead of being stuck there, I was clapping above my head. And uh, I went concrete two days later and got back to work. <laughs> now, now the next one's a, a little juicy one. Tell us a, tell us a juicy one. Who likes juicy killing story? <laughs> now listen, you might have your lunch after this, but it doesn't matter. It, it was, tell, us, yeah. tell us the juicy bits. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> John, I never saw John for five more years. Uh, but in that time, I had another big accident. Um, I had to help a friend out using a chainsaw and I said I'll give you a hand for a week. Well, unfortunately, literally, I gave him that left hand. <laughs> I so think he severed it off. Yeah. You see the scars all around there. Yeah, I took the thumb right off. Uh, they had to pin that back on. Uh, they had to give me a cast and things like that. It took two and a half years to get my hand back into looking like a hand. After the chainsaw, heart and bushy, almost cut it through. Explain um, how it looked. Oh, <laughs> look like a bag of spaghetti. You know? I like that bit. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. um, like, um, the doctors and everybody did that. They gave me another bone graft. And they took some bone from my hip to put it in the thumb to try and connect that again. And um, that didn't work. And then they told me that they wanted to freeze my hand so it would be like that permanently so that I wouldn't have any pain. And I said to them, well, look, that doesn't sound any good. How about I come back next year? We'll just let's see what God does. And so we did that. I came back a year later. By then I had a bit more movement in my wrist. I still had a cast on. And then on the, that was a Thursday and they said, well, we still want to operate again and we still want to give you another bone graft. And I'd already had one of them. They hurt. Don't, don't have one if you don't need one. <laughs> the doctors told you if you'd never get the fulfillment back. Yeah, they told me I, the only way that they'd stop the pain and get me use of the hand back again was to have this operation. And I said, no, I'll leave it. And I was praying on my way home to Maritzburg and I said, God, they might be the best at their job and everything like that, but I don't have to accept what they've said. I'm hanging out for what you've got because you've got something better than that. And I left it at that. Well, John came visiting Sunday night at the church. And he hadn't been to church for our church for five years. Um, and I saw him and he saw me. He said, oh, yeah, here's your shoulder. And I went, oh, beauty. But I forgot that I had this plastic cast hanging on to all this hand. And he says, oh, what have you done? And I said, oh, chainsaws don't take prisoners. <laughs> We've well, got a little mess here. <laughs> and... Uh, so he says, well, what do we do? And I said, well, last time you prayed, let's do the same. And he did it. That night I took that splint off and I've never put it back on again. Wow. Uh, it took me about another three months. Uh, I'm a truck driver by profession and to change an 18 speed road ranger, you've got to use your fingers and your thumbs all day long. Well, it took me two and a half years, but I was back into it. So doctors told you you'd never get the vivid back? You'd never... No, they told me that I had to retrain and do all sorts of things. Oh, yeah, God just told me, you know, hang in there. Now, now you've come here because she had another accident. She, she, like, she, <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, the, the, the accident's a bit um, between this one, but we'll, we'll, because of time, yeah, we'll, we'll fast forward. Yeah. Yeah. He said, what, honestly, said, what, I don't know anyway. anyway. So, uh, I sort of liken myself a bit like the wobbly man that you used to see. You know, you get knocked over by the skittles and you bounce back up. Yeah, but, and, 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 and the last accident, you had a major truck. Yeah. I rolled a road train up and rolled the top of you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I was only 11 minutes into a 14 hour shift and um, through a mechanical error, the road train binded as I went to go around the corner and the two trailers pushed me off the road. The road train completely flipped, the cab slammed down and I was trapped in it for four and a half hours, got a broken shoulder, a few other injuries all around, steering wheel stuck through the leg and, and seat stuck through my hip and things like that. But. Uh, <laughs> My shoulder is coming better, but 
I just got another x-ray yesterday and it tells me that it hasn't changed for six months. And the doctors keep on saying, well, it's getting better. And I say, well, it doesn't feel like it <laughs> to me. The main thing is the shoulder, is it? Yeah. Is it painful? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Church, can we... Oh, honestly, he's had more, uh, more accidents. We don't have time to go through all the accidents. <laughs> but, but seriously, but right now, we, let's, just re, let's just join together with Gary. Hmm. And by the way, I told my wife, I don't, he drove me once to the station. I thought, I don't, I don't know if I should be the car of this family. <laughs> but anyway, the little ones. You put up your hand to, today to lift home. Gary will drive you. <laughs> let's pray for his shoulder. Thank you. Thanks so much, Gary. Lord Jesus. You ask for a for Gary. And Lord, heal the damage, the pain, the pain in his shoulder, rest of his body, Lord. Set him free, Jesus, right now. And Lord, until his emotions too, Jesus. Set him free. Heal his emotions, Jesus. A miracle for Gary. Just give it now. There's a few. It's never been already. Is pain gone? Yeah, I couldn't rotate it like that without pain before. Well, I give a lot of hand to everybody. Thank you. Oh. How's that? Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's not till I get right up to the top there now. So before, that's so how far could you could you could you go oh, before? That that much and it was just <laughs> scream. Raise it up, 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 up. Is that amazing? Yeah, much better. I might even go for a swim. You could have rolled before. <laughs> <laughs> wow, God bless you, mate. Give a lot of hand, everybody. Heals the sick, and he heals the lame.